Welcome back to another episode of Oil and Water. Really? This is why I can't get anything done. All right, you know the rules. I choose a sweet thing, a savory thing, and then a thing. And I make it into the thing. Let's do this. Hey, <laughs> sweet. Pop charts. I just want to say I haven't had a pop tart since I was about ten. Ah, savory. Oh. Macaroni and cheese. Like mac and cheese could easily be in the thing bowl. Go get it. Not very well trained. Ah. It's pancakes. So, I'm gonna make a Pop-Tart macaroni and cheese pancake? Yes, I am. Let's go to market. Oh. I'm back from the market. Here comes the apron. This one is lovely. It's flamingos and hats. Fabulous. So I go to the market, I get Pop-Tarts. I got the classic frosted strawberry which is when I would go to my best friend's house across the street in Washington, D.C., because our house never had Pop-Tarts. This is the flavor they would have, and I wanted to eat them all. Then I thought I will get some pre-made macaroni and cheese from the supermarket deli or something. Oh, no you won't. No, because we don't have any. So I'm gonna make the macaroni and cheese. Also, I thought instead of regular pancakes, I would make a Dutch baby. I'm gonna make the cheese sauce separately, I'm gonna fold all that in there, and I'm gonna chop up the pop tarts and throw it in the thing in the pan, and I'm gonna bake it, and it's gonna go Pfft. Let's get this party started, shall we? I have toasted my pop tarts, and I'm gonna chop them up. Okay. Ooh. Very ASMR. Very Let's go to the stove, make some Dr. Dope macaroni and cheese sauce. I'm gonna make a roux first, which is butter and flour, and then you add milk and you whisk that shit up, and then my Hail Mary is cream cheese. Because I was thinking strawberry Pop-Tart, strawberry cheesecake. This is uh, it's about a tablespoon of flour with a tablespoon of butter, so one to one. Boop. And then, beat this up, you cook it. So I'm just gonna add half the milk. Whisking the whole time. Here's my cream cheese, my Hail Mary. In you go. I'm gonna add some thyme. A wee pinch, a scant. It might also help bridge the gap between the savory macaroni and cheese and the sweet strawberry. Here is a bunch of grated cheese. In you go. I think this will be really good. Okay, holy shit. That was like way faster than I expected. I'm adding the macaroni. Okay. That looks good. <gasps> Thank you. Now I shall make my Dutch baby batter, which will come together like that. In here, I have a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. Add three eggs. Beat those fuckers up. I'm gonna add half a cup of milk. Okay. Oh, and the one thing I really always forget is preheat the oven. You're gonna set it for 425. That fucker is hot. And now it's half a cup of flour. I do know your arm is fucking tired, dude. What I don't know is if it's okay to have lumps. The thing is, I have lumps. Oh, oh, I'm gonna melt the butter in my cast iron skillet. It's cheesy. I just want them to get to know each other. Just, you know. All right, here we go. So this is two Pop-Tarts chopped up. All right, the whole thing. All right, go big, go big or go home. Full send. Come with me to the stove, won't you? Hi. Oh yeah. I really hope that having so much debris in the batter doesn't affect the rise of the Dutch baby. It might just end up being like 20 minutes. Don't go far. I'll be here the whole time. Ta-da! I don't know, I think it's kind of beautiful. 
It smells good. Are you ready for the moment of truth? Here we go. Come on, asshole. Oh, okay. Okay. Kind of pretty. Maybe I'll sprinkle a little powdered sugar. We know we have Pop-Tart. I see macaroni noodle. You ready? I hope it's not too hot. I'm gonna take a bow. Yeah, what? Unbelievable. I feel like a sorcerer. It's very good. I'm sorry you can't taste it through the YouTube, through the IG, but trust me, I would never lie to you about food. I wanna eat the whole Dutch baby. First, you get the beautiful soft texture of a sort of hearty Yorkshire pudding-ish kind of thing. And then you get a little hit of sharp, which is the cheddar cheese. Then you get a whisper of velvety cream cheese. And then you get the subtle sweetness of the strawberry Pop-Tart. Somehow the textures meld together to be one beautiful masterpiece. Finally, on a scale of one to anything, would you serve this to people that you know and love? The answer is f yes. Yes, you would, and you should do it right away. You should do it tomorrow. Today? Why wait? I feel very, very happy. So far, this is number one on the menu on the food truck. You're welcome. I will see you here next time. You guys are awesome. I'm the little, little Dutch baby dance.